Welcome everyone! Today we're playing Winter's Wish Spirits of Edo on Nintendo Switch. I'm very excited. Another cute otome romance game. I love these. They're always adorable. The stories are always just so sweet. Oh, uh, you know what? Uh, I did a little peek at some of the game. I just kept the, uh, her name though. I feel strange when I put my name in. I'm like, I, I'll leave it as her. <laughs> we're separate people. But there's some deep breaths. How did things end up this way? As I darted through the forest, the same question kept echoing in my mind. The darkness around me provided no answer. I ran and ran. My legs had gone numb and I could hardly breathe. If I lost my focus for even a second, I would surely stumble. But even so, I couldn't stop because... <coughs> no! Because of them. I had only become aware of my pursuer after I entered the forest. Who's pursuing you? Maybe, maybe, maybe they're just pursuing a romantic relationship. <laughs> I'm kidding, because they just threw a sword, so I doubt that's the case. I couldn't see them, and yet, even as they gave chase, their accuracy was deadly. Judging by their skill, they were no ordinary bandit. The enemy was likely from that clan. I couldn't allow myself to be killed. I had to hurry. I had to leave this forest. Chances are my family would be in grave danger too. They could already be. No, I think about that later. For now, I needed to... Oh. <coughs> in that instant, pain steered through my left leg. Before I knew it, I dropped to the ground. When I glanced at my injury, I found a kunai deeply embedded in my flesh. <coughs> Damn. Oh no! Why? How did this happen? Is she? Are they safe? I'm guessing he's talking about the main character. I sent someone approaching me, bearing through the pain, I looked up to face them. And they're standing before me. Farewell. Their voice never reached my ears. For the moment the pursuer's lips formed that word, I felt cold steel bite into my neck. We're only like a few seconds in and someone's already dead. What's happening? <laughs> what do we do? Oh, I need to mute this. We're having the cute opening cutscene though. I love these opening little cutscenes. It makes it feel like an anime and as well, like... I love the music they play during it too. The songs are always really beautiful and really catchy. I just wonder how they do such detailed art in these games. I just imagine they're zooming in on every sh piece of hair to shade it. I'm like, the art is just so, so detailed. Sincere and taciturn, or taciturn. <laughs> I might be saying that completely wrong. Frank and apathetic. We're getting a few words to describe them. Diligent and selfless. Vain and alluring. A lot of them have long hair in this game, a lot of the guys. And and the ponytails. The ponytails are strong in this game. <laughs> Everyone has them. Oh, it's so pretty. So cute. Look, the detail. They must be zooming in on each strand of hair. I don't really know um, all the characters' personalities yet, so I guess that will help me decide what route will go. It's always a tricky decision. What route do I want to do first? <laughs> Which one do I want to take first? Chapter 1. All right, you guys can have your sound back. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry for muting your eardrums. My apologies, pat pat. <laughs> I pray that I can continue living in peace. It's really hard to repair, so I also pray the house I live in won't break down any further. What else? Oh, I pray that I can become friends with the people from the village in the foothills. It is the 11th year of the Kyoho era. Over a hundred years have passed since the Tokugawa family came into power. As I perform my daily routine of praying to the shrine, 
I thought it meant the flooding snow. Oh, oops, I was trying to open the glossary. Shrine, a deserted Shinto shrine at the top of a mountain. For some reason, it's always snowing in this area. Hardly anyone sets foot here besides her. I like that they have like a built-in dictionary. I need that. The amount of times in games I have, I pull out like my phone to like Google a word. What does this mean? Because they use all those fancy terms, you know, in different games. No one else was around me. I've heard rumors that Ido and Kyoto are becoming more advanced and populated, but I live alone in a rundown village in the mountains, left behind by the changing times. Hmm, maybe I asked just a little too much from God. I don't have anyone else I can talk to around here, so I always end up talking too much. Uh, thank you so much for always listening to me. If only there were some animals around here, but it's always been snowing no matter the season, so I never see any living creatures here. Because of that, I feel even lonelier. At any rate, it's really coming down. As I stared up at the sky, muttering to myself, I heard a sound coming from behind me. I immediately turned around and saw two men setting some goods on the ground. They're the people from the village in the foothills who routinely come up to deliver my supplies. This might be my chance to finally make friends, alright. With quiet anticipation, I called out towards the men. They thank you so much, I appreciate it every time. Why is she outside? Don't make eye contact, you idiot. Come on, let's get out of here. Talk about rude! <laughs> but the men didn't answer me, instead they hurried away. Even from a distance, I could see several vibrant yellow threads draped around their necks like necklaces. Threads, the physical embodiment of the emotions people harbor only t harbor towards specific things. Only she can see them. So she can kind of see people's feelings. Oops, I messed that up. In any case, there was no way to talk to them while they were in that state. Although I understood that their reaction was so extreme that I couldn't help but feel downhearted. If only I were normal, I could have lived like anyone else in the village in the foothills. No one would avoid me like this. Eh, yeah, people will find any reason to, you know, dislike you, you know? Poor her. Just cause she has powers, maybe I should move somewhere else if all I'm doing is causing problems for everyone. But father's grave is here, I couldn't just leave. And if I'm still the way that I am now, things will be the same no matter where I go. I shook my head as if to drive away the thoughts turning in my mind. Come on, pull yourself together. Didn't you promise father that you'd do your best even when you're alone? That's right, there is no point in thinking about this kind of stuff. I should be grateful they're not they're even giving me supplies. Ostracized from the village or not. Thanks to them I can make do, even by myself. I quietly crouched down in order to pick up all the supplies. They were wrapped in a cloth, and it contained warm clothing, some seasonings, and various food items. Naturally, I can't get these kinds of things myself, so what a lifesaver. This is all thanks to Father who helped the villagers out so many times. Or it could just be that the villagers are using the supply runs to check if I'm still alive, that's horrible! I'm gonna smack those villagers when I see them. <laughs> Oof, thinking about it really gets me down. Now still crouched on the ground, I stared down at my feet. The pure white snow slowly accumulated around me, cloaking my sad thoughts and circumstances in a beautiful veil, or that was how it felt, anyway. I love snow. It's hard not to let your thoughts turn gloomy when you're alone. I should try and look at things more positively. Hmm. In that moment, a dark shadow appeared on the ground. The sky was full of clouds, so it couldn't have been from a change in the weather, which means... Yo, what up? <laughs> We're meeting the first dude! What are you doing? Your kimono's going to get wet if you stay crouched like that. Confused, I looked up. There, be standing before me was an unfamiliar man. Huh, who's this? He isn't from the village, is he? He's incredibly well-dressed, and he has a sword hanging from his belt, so he must be a samurai, right? Hmm, and on top of that, he doesn't have threads. What a mysterious person. But for some reason, I couldn't tear my eyes away from him. 
Skin and hair so pale that he could melt into the snow white surrounding at any moment and his eyes shining like glass. Despite the fact that this was my first time seeing him, there was something about him that made it look like he belonged there. This fluttering sensation in my heart had to be... Love at first sight! Dang, I didn't know it was real! <laughs> How nostalgic, what? Weird, why would I say such a thing? I was surprised that sentiment was exactly what I was thinking. Oh, I wonder if they met each other in the past. It was as if he had read my mind and called out what he had seen. My heart raced at the thought. Ah, well, never mind that. More importantly, you're still cast down. Are you feeling alright? Ah, sorry. Oh no, now it looks like I was ignoring him. I hurriedly grabbed the hand that he had been extending to me. Then the man gently pulled me to my feet. Thank you, at least he's not scared to go near us. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, thank you so much, you're too mm -hmm. kind. Don't worry about it, it's no trouble. Anyway, are you feeling alright? You don't look so good. Don't tell a lady she doesn't look good the first time you meet her. Shh, don't say that. <laughs> I don't know, I'm fine. I was just spacing out a little. So? I see, that's good to hear. The man smiled softly like a blossoming flower. It's been ages since I've seen anyone smile like this. That's so sad. No, I see it's been ages since I've talked with anyone at all. Such a small interaction may not have been a big deal to anyone else, but I was over the moon. I know that feeling. Just anytime anyone talks to me, I'm like, oh my goodness, they spoke to me. I feel honored by just the presence of people. <laughs> and at the same time, something kept bothering me. Oh, it's rare for a samurai such as yourself to be lost in the countryside. And as if he hadn't noticed until now, the samurai started looking around. Where is this? Huh? I walked through the village in search of someone, but is this the summit? He is most definitely lost. The village you're talking about is the one in the foothills, right? I can guide you there if you'd like. Really? Yes, if you're alright with it, I can take you to where you can see the entrance. I was told that I can't enter the village, but part of the way should be fine, right? I offered to take him there out of kindness, but really, I just wanted to talk with someone a little more. Aww. Thank you. Oh, I almost forgot to introduce myself. My name is Tomonari Takamura, and you are... My name is Suzuno. I've been living here alone this whole time. You're Suzuno? Alright, that's right. Really nice to finally meet you. You have a summons from the Shogunats. Can you accompany me to Edo? I'm sorry? It took me a moment for his words to register. A summons from the Shogunats. Like directly? Which means the Shogun is telling me to go to Edo. The same Shogun who rules the entire country. You gotta be joking, right? Mm -hmm. Huh? This is no joke. I came here to fetch you as part of my mission with the Oniwa Bond. All the way out here in the mountains? Pretty much. Oh, and here are the documents from Lord Yoshi. Yoshimune! Yoshi! He's here! The green dinosaur is in charge of the entire country. Yes! <laughs> That's the country I want to live in! <laughs> With those words, Takamura took out what looked like a piece of paper from his inner pocket and handed it to me. Written on it was exactly what I had just been told. At the very bottom of the letter was Yoshimune Toku Tokugawa. I just want to call him Yoshi from now on. <laughs> Stamped in red ink. Do you believe me now? Uh-huh. What does this mean? The documents seem to be real, but everything is just happening so fast. For now, if there's something I don't know, I should ask. May I ask a question? Mm? Yes, go ahead. I'll answer as best as I can. For starters, what is the Oniwaban? Is that a profession in Edo? Alright, no ordinary person would know about it. The Oniwaban is a covert group created by Lord Yoshi. We take orders directly from his lordship and perform secret work. An official position in the shogunate government under Yoshi, the 8th shogun of the Edo era. A group that conducts intelligence operations in secret under direct orders from the Shogun. Should I know about this? 
I see. So that explains why this person dresses so fancy. He must be really important if he's part of the Shogun's personal espionage team, right? Okay, so why me? I'm just a normal country girl. I'm not anyone the Shogun will call on. She knew the answer to that better than anyone else, huh? I was startled by his words. Could it be that he knows about my power? But I can't imagine it ever benefiting anyone. Regardless, I couldn't bring myself to ask him again. Is there anything else you want to know? After I finish what I need to do in Edo, will I be able to return? My father's grave is here, so... I'm not sure, but it probably won't be any time soon. You should be prepared to be gone for at least a few years. That's a lot of time for such short notice. No way. That's out of the question. If I'm away for that long, then Father's grave will be neglected. But then, what if I refuse to go with you? I nervously asked him. In response, Takamura charmingly tilted his head and smiled. Depending on the situation, I might have to kill you. Man! The way he says it with a smile, this man says this with this look on his face. <laughs> Oh no guys, he's a psycho, he's gonna take us down. I'll end off there for today. Thank you so much for watching everyone. Um, I hope we'll survive till the next time I see you. <laughs> Have a great day everyone, like, comment, subscribe. I will really appreciate it and I will see you next time. Bye bye. Three, two, one, poof poof.